Hello lovelies, this is a long and fiddly video, but I'm going to show you how to create this rose using the woven Pico stitch. Firstly, you're going to need an extra long pin. Place it in the fabric like this, and then you're going to bring your needle up at the base of the pin on the left, and you're going to loop it around the top of the pin and go all the way down to the right side of the pin. Go down through the fabric, level with the first, and then we're going to bring our needle up through the fabric at the base of the pin, so right in the middle. And then we're going to take our thread all the way up to the top and loop it round, but we're not coming back down. We're going to bring our needle in from the right with the eye, and we're going to thread it using the eye. So you're going to go under that first, over the middle, and under the one on the left. So under one, over two, under three. Now coming back this way, we're going to do it the opposite way. So we're going to go over the first one, under the middle one, over the third one. And you carry on in this pattern all the way down. You can use the needle to slightly push the threads up a little so it sits nice and snugly together. Remember not to pull too hard at the end of each line. And the reason we're using the needle eye is because it doesn't catch on the thread. If you use the pointy end, it would catch and drag on the thread. One thing to remember is to pull the needle through. Don't try pushing it on the pointy end, because as I've told you many times before, needles are sharp and pointy and they will hurt you. Now, this is an extra long pico. So what I'm going to say to you is if you run out of thread, cut your thread, get another piece of thread and then just tie them together, knot them together. No one's going to see the knot. It's going to be hidden. So don't worry about the knot. I know so many people don't like knots, but sometimes you just got to use a knot, whether you like it or not. So when you've tied your knot, cut it quite close to the knot. You can actually cut it closer than I've done it. But anyway, as you start threading that back through, that knot will get hidden by the, um, the weaving, basically. As you can see, you can't even see it. It's in here and it's going to be hidden in a minute anyway. Now we're going to take the pin out. This is the tricky bit. <laughs> we're going to take the pin out and we're going to gently roll this pico. And it's not as easy <laughs> as I thought it was going to be. It's quite fiddly. So you want to roll it quite tightly. Okay. As if you were making a rose out of ribbon, for example. But this time we're using the woven pico. And we're going to roll this up and we're going to twiddle it about a bit and maneuver it so it sits on the fabric. And this is when it gets tricky. We need to anchor it in place. What we're basically going to do is bring, take our needle back down through the fabric. And we are then going to bring it up through the fabric and start sewing the base of that woven Pico rose in place. Now it looks a bit loose, so you're going to have to keep twiddling with it to keep it nice and tight in the middle. One way I would suggest that you can do that. Also, let me just tell you here, you're going to need to scooch that in a little, scooch in the base so it sits nicely. Now, if you want to secure the middle as well, which I would suggest you do, because look, it's a bit floppy, is you would come up through the fabric from the bottom in the middle. So you'll bring your needle up through the middle of that rose and you're going to leave a tiny, tiny space. You're going to do a tiny, tiny stitch back down into the fabric. And then just keep securing it like you would normally. You can add leaves to this. I will do another video showing you how to use a uh, woven Pico stitch to add some leaves to something like this. I know it's tricky, but isn't it pretty? It's so much fun. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It took a long time to make. Um, but that's your woven Pico stitch rose. Happy stitching.